What's up everyone, Brandon Tyrell here with IGN, and I'm really excited to reveal Far Cry 5 is our IGN first game of the month for February 2018. We've got a ton of great content lined up to bring you over the coming weeks, but for today's kickoff piece, I want to highlight and share one aspect of Far Cry 5 that I personally love, which is the ability to play the game any way you really want to. Are you a sneaky archer? Are you a long range, one shot, one kill sniper? Maybe you just want to go in guns blazing. Well, from the 15 plus hours I've played of Far Cry 5, I'm happy to say all these styles are perfectly at home in Ubisoft's sprawling recreation of Montana. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want to show you exactly what I mean. To do that, I've recreated my experience assaulting one of the first major outposts in the game, the Seed Ranch, with the help of three different guns for hire that play into our different styles. To start, we're going to be taking a long range sniping approach with Grace the sniper specialist you can meet and recruit in the Holland Valley. Next, we'll go the sneaky infiltration route with Boomer, the companion pup who can spot and mark enemies without raising the alarm and be commanded to attack targets and bring their weapons back to you. He's a good boy. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna go in full bore guns blazing with the help of Nick Ryan, a local pilot whose strafing runs and bombs can cause some serious chaos. So sit back, relax, and let's get this started. So we're approaching the ranch with our sniper rifle and marksman scope, our sneaky compound bow, and hauling towards the location in our guns blazing, tricked out semi truck. So in our sniper style playthrough, I'm sending Grace to a vantage point on the roof of the lodge. Understood. While I head over to this tower platform on the opposite side to try to catch him in a crossfire. Over on our sneaky playthrough, we're gonna send Boomer in to scout and mark our targets. While he's doing that, we'll hang back and move around to the side of the lodge to get into position. Meanwhile, all hell is currently breaking loose in our loud playthrough. But while we're doing our best work with a launcher, I'm gonna mark this target for Nick's flyby bombing run. Back in our sniper playthrough, we're just getting down to business. We're gonna send Grace to a better vantage point on the roof and start marking targets. In position. Yeah, you notice her green dot of death? Yeah, you don't want that dot on you. you. Got it. Now I've shamed myself by missing this easy shot, but fortunately Grace is a professional and she's got it covered. Heading back over to Sneak Town, things are moving right along as we quietly pick off our already marked targets with our bow and a couple throwing knives. But before we move to higher ground, I'm making sure they can't call for help with this alarm. And I have to be sure to drop this guy behind the house who's manning the mortar, since I'm totally exposed on this roof. Same idea over here in Boomsville. Kill that mortar, head to higher ground, start blowing stuff up while Nick brings down the fury. After a few more well-placed shots on our sneaky route, we've been spotted. So we have to drop him before he alerts the outpost with an expertly executed aerial maneuver and a face stomp. Oof. Unfortunately, in our loud approach, some reinforcements have showed up, which is actually unfortunate for them. Because I still have a grenade launcher. And my friend Nick is still doing circles overhead. You know what? Nick's not my friend anymore. I really loved that truck. And watch this dude. He's got a serious power slide going on. Whoop. Awesome. Eliminated. So we're wrapping things up back in our sniping playthrough and Grace is going Bad off. One. She's finishing this run before it even got started. I just wish she'd save one for me. Kill confirmed. No mercy. So back in our sneaky run, we've been spotted again, but it's no big deal, because I'm going to send Boomer in to finish off one of the last remaining guys. And then use an explosive tipped arrow to clear that patio off and take out the alarm. Outpost secured. Finally, every gun's blazing run needs a little parachute action. And while I extravagantly miss with a grenade, Nick seals the deal with a well-placed gun run and a stylish flyby. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at some of the different ways you can get going in Far Cry 5. Now, if you like this, 
Stay tuned all month long as we dive deep in Far Cry 5 as part of IGN First. See you next time.